Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mouldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Mouldy Worm4975 and it looks like we've got even more information about the upcoming Cayo Perico heist that is going to be launching next Tuesday on December the 15th. So over the last couple of days and weeks we've had quite a lot of information actually about this DLC. We still don't know the full extent of the vehicle list. But we have seen quite a few new vehicles that are coming out. We saw the trailer which released yesterday. I did cover that and we did do a trailer breakdown. So I'll leave a link to that in the comments if you want to go and uh, watch that video. But today I want to have a look at the Newswire. They posted another bit of information about the new radio stations and the new music that is going to be coming in this update. So I'm over here on the Newswire page. You can see already we've got the Colt 99.1 FM. This is going to be Vespucci Beach Low Power Radio. That looks really, really cool. We've got Still Slipping, which is going to be another new radio station. We've got Worldwide FM, which is already an existing radio, but that's going to be updated with new music. And Fly Low FM is the same. And then we've got the Music Locker radio. So the Music Locker is the new um, the new dance floor that is going to be coming to the casino. In case you haven't been up to date, we're getting a nightclub inside the casino, which is really, really cool. And that is called the Music Locker. And it looks like all the music that will be available in there is going to be available on the radio station. So let's scroll down here. It says, Still Slipping Los Santos. Cult FM and the Music Locker coming to the radio dial, plus ex extensive updates to Flylow FM and Worldwide FM in Grand Theft Auto's biggest ever musical update, which we've already seen, and you can see that came out today on December the 10th. Um, as I'm making this video, you might be watching it the next day or couple of days from now but alongside the grand opening of the music locker and its new state uh, slate of resident djs gt online's musical universe further expands at the launch of the Cayo perico heist with the new addition of three new radio stations as well as brand new mixes arriving on hit stations fly low fm and worldwide fm for a whopping total of 250 new tracks making this the biggest ever musical update to GTA Online. They seem to be really pounding that into us that it's going to be the biggest update and the biggest musical update but I guess it is going to be so that's kind of interesting and I kind of wonder why they've chosen Fly Low FM and Worldwide FM. Uh, not sure why they've chosen those two radio stations specifically it would have been nice if we got some new music to all the radio stations, but I'm guessing these are probably the most listened to radio stations. I don't know if Rockstar has a way of tracking that, but I'm guessing that's why they're adding it to those. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of interesting. Uh, we've got Still Slipping Los Santos. This is the picture of what it's going to be like. UK DJ Joe Orbison has been setting up shop in Los Santos with hopes of launching his own pirate radio station, which we'll touch on pirate radio station in a minute. Um, still slipping Los Santos out of Mirror Park, Joy is ready to deliver seamless, a seamless mix of house, techno, drill and drum and bass to the masses. The only problem is he's having some trouble getting a strong enough signal to reach beyond his neighborhood. If he's going to make his, if he's going to take his uh, sound city and statewide, he's going to need some help getting started. Keep an eye out for opportunities to support your local disc jockey on December fifteenth, and that sounds really, really cool. So we're going to be getting this new radio station called Still Slipping Los Santos, which is going to be really cool. And you can see the kind of music they're going to be playing is techno drill and drum and bass which is not really my kind of music but uh, i know a lot of people are into that so it should be pretty cool but it looks like we're going to be helping him set up his radio station so we're going to be helping him um reach more people it says that he can only only has a strong enough signal to reach his neighborhood at the moment 
but we're going to help him expand his signal so he can reach all the other people, um, which is kind of cool. Um, that is a nice little, hopefully like a little side mission, something you can do other than the actual heist itself, because obviously the heist is the main part of this DLC, but it looks like this is a little side mission that you can go and do. And something I just kind of found interesting is the choice of words up here. It says his own pirate radio station. So it could be just me, um, but that does sound kind of like maybe naval stuff. I'm not saying a full naval DLC or anything like that. You guys know that I'm into boats and stuff, so... Um, I could read into this a bit too much, but the choice of words there is kind of interesting. Pirate radio station. It could be something to do with sea. Um, we have seen that there are new boats in this update and possibly boat customization as well. So, I mean, I don't know. Could just be me. Um, it could also mean that it is kind of like an illegal radio station that they're using the connection or like piggybacking off um the broadcast of another radio station it could also mean that um but kind of an interesting choice of words just wanted to bring that up then we've got cult fm 99.1 this is the logo for it here it says tune in turn on and space out to the sounds of cult fm hosted by julian casablancas of the strokes and the voids uh the guest list is star studied with appearances from mac damarco David Cross and Tony Mack and the station's playlist spans from the Manchester sounds of Joy, De Joy Division, New Order and a certain and a certain ratio to heavy throwbacks from Danzing, The Velvet Underground and Iggy Pop and everything in between plus the world exclusive premiere of a new track from The Voids called Alien Crime Lord. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a song that has never been heard before on radio. It's going to be heard for the first time on GTA, on the radio in GTA, which is kind of cool, actually. That's a cool way of bringing out a, a new song rather than bring it on the radio in real life, which I'm sure it will be in the coming weeks. They're going to bring it to the radio in GTA first, and then it will come out on the radio in real life, which is kind of... That's something unique and it's kind of cool. I've never heard of any of these artists, I'm going to be honest. Um, so if you recognise any of these artists, let me know in the comment section. But I've never heard of any of them before. Then we've got the Music Locker Radio. Later this December, the Music Locker will debut its own radio station, bringing the sets and sounds of the hottest new club in Los Santos above ground and onto the airwaves, featuring mixes from Kind Music, along with the genre-defying sets from Palm Tracks and Moody Man. The Music Locker will also be the go-to destination for house, disco, and techno. So, Kind Music and this Palm Tracks and Moody Man are the three people we saw in the Music Locker trailer. Um, they're going to be the new DJs in the um, the new Music Locker nightclub in case you didn't already know that and um, it says later this December so I don't know if this is going to be coming out at launch this might be coming out maybe a week or two down the line it might not be coming straight away on launch then we've got Fly Low FM it says Grammy nominated producer and Los Santos beat maker supreme Flying Lotus Fly Low is back with an all new mix added to the rotation on Flylo FM featuring guest appearances from Tierra Wack, I think that's how you pronounce that, plus new tracks from Madlib, brand new material from Flylo himself, MF Doom, and a bunch of rare and exclusive amazing surprises. That sounds really interesting. Then we've got Worldwide FM. Globally renowned DJ Giles Peterson returns to add a new mix of new London jazz, disco and world music for Worldwide FM featuring tracks from uh, Kamasi Washington. Uh, Cru I don't know how you pronounce that, but that basically <laughs> them. I don't know if it's a band. Bad, bad, not good, and MF Doom, plus many, many more. 
to keep the returning stations feeling fresh and and to give and to give everyone a chance to find some new favorites Flylo and Worldwide FM will be bumping will be bumping the new the all new mixes and tracks only for a period after launch uh, with the classics mixed back in over time so that's kind of interesting. I apologise for my reading there. It's not the easiest passage to read. Um, but that's kind of interesting as well. How they're going to be introducing these new radio... Um, or, or these new songs on the existing radio stations. Looks like they're going to be cutting out all the old uh, songs for a short time. And they're going to be only playing the new tracks. And then over time they're going to mix in the songs that were already on the radio station. So for the first few weeks, Worldwide FM and Fly Low are basically going to be new radio stations. They are already in GT Online, in case you didn't know. Um, but they're going to feature all new songs, and then probably in January, they'll mix in the original songs that have been in the on the radio station since launch. So that's kind of cool as well. You, you don't have to listen to the old songs if you don't want to. And then it says, stay tuned to the Rockside Newswire for the latest news on GT Online Music and the Cayo Perico Heist coming out December 15th. So it looks like this could be the last time we hear any more information before next Tuesday. It is Thursday today. So, um, I mean, it's only a couple of days away. Um, they have been saying stay tuned to the Rockside Newswire for more news. Now they're saying for the latest news. So that kind of makes me feel like that's probably going to be the last um, the last thing they're going to be putting on the, on the Newswire. Excuse me. Um, but it is possible we'll see some uh, screenshots of the new cars, possibly on their Twitter page. But I think they usually do upload them onto the Rockstar Newswire as well. So if you want to keep up to date with it, then I suggest um, joining the Rockstar Newswire subscriptions list. So they'll send you an email every time there's an update on the Newswire. So if you want to keep up to date with that, then I'd recommend doing that. But I cover all the content here on the channel as well. And yeah... That kind of looks quite interesting. It looks like we're going to be getting a lot of new music in this update. Over 250 new songs. Um, I'm going to be honest, none of that music was my kind of taste. Um, but I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are really excited for this. I'm actually really excited to have new songs in the game. It's just not the kind of music that I listen to. Um, but who knows, in the future we may see some updates some to some of the other radio stations as well and yeah that's going to do it for this video i don't really want to go on too long i just wanted to cover what has been said on the news why it's kind of interesting and hopefully you guys feel the same way but that's going to do it for me thanks all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video